Hey, John Morris here, and in this video, we're going to talk about the array chunk functions. What this function allows you to do is to take a larger array and then chunk it into an array of smaller uh, arrays. So we're going to cover exactly what that means. Um, you'll notice that we have uh, a couple of parameters here. The first one is the input array. So this is the actual array that we're going to work on. The second one is the size. That is the size, the number of elements that you want each chunk to be and then an element, an optional element called preserve keys, which if set to true will preserve the keys from the original array, and if set to false, it will re-index them, and the default, of course, is false. So what it's going to return to you, as you can see down here, is a multidimensional numerically indexed array with each, ele each dimension containing the size uh, or the number of elements that you specify. So let's go over to our code and take a look at what that looks like. So you can see here we have an array, and in that array we have six elements. It's an indexed array with six elements in it, and we're going to chunk that into a multi-dimensional array. And so in this first array here, when we chunk it out, and you can see we're passing in our array as the first parameter. We're setting how big we want each array to be, so we want two elements in each array, and then we're not going to preserve keys in this first array here. In the second one, we're going to chunk it out. We're again using our original array, but we're going to put it into an uh, array with L three elements in it, and then we are going to preserve the keys in this one. Okay, And then, of course, down here, um, we're doing our, this is a custom function I wrote that makes the output a little prettier, but it's essentially a print R so we can view what the array looks like. So that's what our code looks like. That's, that's how you would use it. And we'll go ahead and head on over and we'll take a look at then what it creates. So we'll refresh that. You can see our first array, again, we set the size to two. So it's created a multi-dimensional array, so an array of arrays. And in our child arrays here, then we have two elements in each array here. So we have our first array with two elements, second array with two elements, and third array with two elements. And you'll see that within each array here, then they get re-indexed. So instead of one or zero, one, two, three, four, five, it re-indexes each one of these arrays. And so it uh, chunks it out here. With our the way we did it in the second one, you can see that we have only two arrays with three elements in it. And again, it's a multi-dimensional array. And inside of here, then we preserve the keys. So you'll notice it says zero, one, two three, four, and five. So it actually preserves the keys from the original array. So that's what the array chunk function allows you to do. You have certain scenarios may, where you may want to use this, and if you ever need to use it, uh, now you know how. So that's the array chunk function. Hopefully you found that helpful, and I will talk to you later.